Being a machine shop owner, if you're good, you're, you're cool under pressure. See, I know you. You're cool under pressure. You know, I'm not one of those guys that loses it. I'm like, the walls can fall down, like the whole place can go ablaze. I'm going to be cool under pressure. I'm going to grab my family, grab this. I'm going to take care of it because I've been through big things so many times. I've gone through so many valleys. Like, you just can't shake me. People can talk, but they can't shake me because I'm a business owner. So because of that, no matter what your day's like, when you go onto that floor, bring greatness out of your employees. If somebody yells at you on the phone and tells you that you ain't getting it and you're about to lose all this money and the tax man's coming and all of it and you're just like, oh, like, and you go outside just like, ah, oh. what's up, man? I'm cool under pressure. Did this, done that. I'll solve that problem all day long. You know what's going to happen. So how are you doing? How are you taking this job to greatness? How's these tables? How's these tables? Oh, look at that plus or minus, like a couple of thousands all the way down stacked. Oh, that's greatness. That's greatness right there. Your employees want to do great things. They want to have great lives. They want to rise up. They, they run the same parts over and over. They want to feel like they can actually make moves and, and figure things out. So challenge them. We're running at two minutes. You got 10,000 parts. Can we get it down to a minute, 50 seconds? Can we get it down here? Hey, you guys get it down with the same amount of end mills, the same consistent cut, and you drop that time, I'm taking everybody out for a pizza. We're gonna make it happen, right? We're gonna make it happen. Challenge them to greatness. Challenge them to greatness. There's nothing else to go after. Like what's, if you go after greatness, what's the worst thing that can happen? You settle in awesomeness. Right, you know what I mean? If you if you go after mediocrity, like you're gonna be mediocre. If you go after like not going after the challenges, then then your attitude is gonna be down here. Your employees gonna be down here. People are like, you can't. You, why are you teaching them how to program, Titan? Like you can't have too many cooks. Like keep keep them shut in the corner. Look, information is out there. Information is out there. They they're gonna know that you're holding them back. If the information is there and some of them can rise to their potential and, and go after greatness, they're gonna put the work in, then why wouldn't I teach them that? Then they can make you money, right? They know not everybody's gonna program, not everybody's gonna do this and do that, but when they understand the game and they understand how to actually program those parts, they understand how the print calls out the tense, how the datums work, when they understand true positioning, even though they're not programming it, they can inspect it better. They can take greater pride in what it took to get it onto the machine and they can be, become better workers. And because you invest in your employees, they can help you go after greatness. Go after the companies that you believe in, that you, that have vision, that you believe that's the next great thing, and, and go after and sell yourself to them and tell them you're willing to cut up at two in the morning. You're willing to do whatever it takes to make it happen, to basically serve them because your job is to serve them, right? And your job is to serve your employees and their job is to serve you and help you make payroll, right? But it takes you. And guess what? Because you're going after companies that have vision, you're not going to be down like, like I was and a lot of you guys was. You're going to be up because you're making money, right? You're making money. So, so go after it. Challenge your employees. Go after it and, and, and tell them like when they walk in in the morning, no matter how bad the day is, oh, we're going after some greatness today. What's up? Let's move a little bit faster. Let's make it happen. Uh, it's about going after your dreams and having the talent, the workmanship, and living in the greatest country in the world that allows you to do that. And you guys over in England and Germany and China and Brazil, you deserve to make your own parts. So use the same lessons to take your countries and your communities up. Manufacturing is a global, it's global. We're all one huge family, all right? So you guys take care of yourself. So shop owners, I love you guys. I love you guys. Stand in that pocket, make it happen. Make it happen. Take it, make it, make that culture, lift that culture to greatness. Those employees, treat them good. That's your family right there. We're family, all right? Boom.